Hi everyone, how are you all? Lovely to see you all. What a corking day, hey? It, it's sunshine. I hope you're all well. Lovely to see you all. Wow, £10, 8 ounces. That is a big baby. Congratulations, sweetheart. That is big. Oh, eye watering. Well done, well done. Congratulations. So welcome to the studio, the How to Craft Network studio, where you can come and get some lovely inspiration. My name is Tony Derrick, and this is a fabulous place to come for card making, not soft craft, but maybe sometimes scrapbooking, maybe sometimes um, home decor. It depends who's in studio. And as you know now very well that we have lots of guest demonstrators in studio and there are more to come, lots to tell you about. So if you are watching on YouTube, there is a subscribe button and there is also a little bell which gives you that half an hour notice. If you are wanting to be kept up to speed with the shows, then that bell is there for you. If you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe. This gives us a wider reach as a channel, but it also um, is a little bit of inspiration daily for you. If you do lose your mojo or you're wanting to maybe pick up an older product and want it, can't quite remember what to do with it, then you can come back and say hi. The videos never go away. So let's say hi to our friends. Hi, Phil, Elizabeth, Amanda, Charlotte. Hi, Helen, Gillian, Roseanne, Sue, Marilyn. My God, it's a corking day, isn't it? Hi, David. Hi, Rosa, Enid, Jan. So a couple of updates then for you. Um, obviously, yesterday I couldn't do studio. Um, we have no staff at the moment. We have um, a few staff off ill at the moment, not um, COVID related, so please don't worry. Um, so I had to do hands on deck yesterday to get everything out of the door. Um, we were already behind on the washi tape with TV and the confusion. So it was just a case of hands on deck yesterday to get everybody's out orders out the door. So now you should have your thirsty brush orders imminently um, if you've not already got them. You should have washi. Um, if you haven't already got it, you will get it within the next few days. Uh, and if you haven't within the next few days, I suggest you get hold of us and let us know um, because we are up to speed. And now we, um, the staff move on to our Christmas shows. They will be out the door tomorrow, fingers crossed. However, there is a lot and eyes ink and things like that. So we are back up to speed, thank goodness. Um, if you did buy the 3D dies, they've started to be dispatched from today as well. And it really has been a case of all hands on deck. I do need some more staff, but we're not having anybody else in the building yet. The second thing I need to tell you about, unfortunately, that's a bit unprofessional, isn't it? my phone's still there. That's me making sure it's on silent, is as you were all aware, we were opening our store on the 21st and we were all super excited about it. We had plans and we had our demo day, but unfortunately, due to the government, Pushing Wakefield and several other areas on, we've now had to push the shop opening date on another four weeks. So our store will not be opening until the 19th of July now. I do apologise. It's completely out of my hands. We could have actually opened before, but just to be safe, we decided to wait until the whole restrictions were lifted. But unfortunately, they're still not fully lifted. So I am waiting. I know you totally understand, but I have staff to take care of. I have myself, I have a family. And until the government tells us that, you know, we are officially out of the lockdown, we're staying closed. Please don't worry though, because what I'm going to do is on the, so I plan to open on the 21st, if you remember, and then I plan to give you a 10% discount off all week. And then on the Saturday, I did say we would have Carly in to have a demo day, didn't I? And we would have 10% off in store. So what I'm going to do is it's not to set in stone, but I have a plan to do a free painting class Saturday morning online and some discounts on stock in store on that day. I might put a little sale on or something. So for those of you that have saved your pennies and we're looking forward to visiting and spending your money and getting those discounts, I'm going to put it on on the Saturday, but I'm also going to put in a lovely painting class. You know, our Saturday morning painting classes. I think it's only fair because we've all been really excited about it, that we do something. So um, I'm going to put that painting class on on the Saturday morning, however long an hour or two. So just stay tuned for that one. I'll get more details as we go along. Um, and then as it comes closer to the 19th, we'll try and plan something else in, um, something to look forward to and get excited about. So I hope that's okay. 
So it'll be um, the Saturday, which is the 26th, okay? Um, I'll pick a time um, when we're going to be able to do it and we'll do something different for a change. I hope that's okay, everyone. I know you all get it, um, but safety is paramount. And, you know, it's not going to be like this forever, I'm sure. So that's that. Anything else to tell you about? Anything else? Anybody else? Anybody got any questions? Is there anybody got any burning questions? Maybe they've tried to get hold of us and not been able to get hold of us because all day yesterday, I don't think I did see Becky answer the phone. But I don't think we managed to get to all the calls yesterday if you did phone. So if you've got any questions, I'm, I'll try and keep a note um, for things that are popping up and things like that. Oh, something exciting as well. As you all know, we have launch day on Friday, one o'clock. We're launching something on Friday at one o'clock. Something exciting. It might not be my products, it might be somebody else's, it might be something new, it might be something old, but you have to come and say hi at one o'clock every Friday because we're doing something different. And as you all know, we have the code up for you to help you out. So let's have a look. You are so kind. I do my best. I do, I do want everybody to be happy, including myself. Um, and I am a little bit gutted. I am cause I'm so looking forward to seeing everybody. A lot of you are coming. But it is what it is. So when is chapter 16? So chapter 16, we was meant to be, uh, let me just think, what day are we on today? It was meant to be this week, but the Christmas event was seven days, if you remember what I spoke to you about before. Creating Crafts Christmas event where it was supposed to be for a week, but they couldn't get everybody in. Everybody had um, got Christmas that they wanted to launch and they couldn't launch it because there were not enough hours. So um, Creating Craft have extended the Christmas. I think they extended it for two weeks. So what happened is all the shows that were in that week where it was meant to be normal have been pushed on and reallocated. Um, so as soon as I find out, I will let you know. It's frustrating, isn't it? I know. But it is all good. So I hope that helps, Phil. 16, it's all planned. It's here. It's in the building. Carly's working on it. It's just that um, it's had to be pushed on because of the Christmas event. So another question. Navy top folding note card. So yes, Sue, we had the Navy. It came and it was an awful washed out Navy. So um, and teal came. And then I was told teal is really expensive. Oh, and they're already expensive, let me tell you. Um, so we're still back to the drawing board on navy. I want a really good navy, like we did as really good grey. So not long, hopefully, sweetheart. All right, so Lillian, <laughs> Christmas embossing folder still in stock. So we have our Christmas orders to pick as of tomorrow from Create and Craft. So they're obviously direct dispatch. Anything that's left, once all the orders have been confirmed and left the building, we will count the stock and reload on. So just give it a couple of days just to keep an eye on it. Um, we don't like to load until orders are out the door because so many mistakes are made with TV and ourselves as well. They can't just blame TV, it's ourselves as well. But we just wait now until everybody's orders are confirmed and done and then we load whatever is left back on the web. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. Right, let's craft. That's live. Right, so I thought we'd mix it up today. I've got a lot of stuff going on. I didn't know what to do. Did I want to do the 3D? Did I want to do the Christmas ones? Did I want to do an older collection? So guess what, you're getting it all today. So I'm sorry if it's a little bit overwhelming, but we're going to have a good old play. So first of all, I've done a little bit of the work because I had quite a bit I wanted to do and I thought we'll be here for four hours and nobody's got an attention span with me for four hours. And you probably would mute me by that time. So what I did was, ahead of time, is I've cut the two birds, can we see those there, out of this white card. So I've just slotted them back into the recess there. So these are the two birds from the Christmas collection, which I know a lot of you have probably bought and are waiting for patiently. Thank you very much. So what we're going to do is I'm going to build two of these birds. Now, the reason that I wanted to show you these birds again is because I'm going to not do a Christmas card. I'm going to do a totally different card. But I tried to do a bit of prep before I came to wear. And I was stamping on some cardstock. And my gosh, I mean, look at these two birds here. Let me just show you. They look like they've been electrocuted. How bad are those birds? I'm like thinking, hmm, why is that happening? Why is it all smudging and not sitting right and looks literally like he's been on an electric pylon? Um, and then I realized I wasn't using 
a correct card. This is full of chalk content and it all just went fuzzy. So if you want to create an electrocuted fuzzy bird, use the wrong cardstock. So I tried to get ahead by doing them ahead of time, but then I thought, do you know what? We'll do it live on air. But just be mindful if you get sort of a fuzzy feel um, with your, when you stamp it out, it start, legs start to look bigger than its body, which is what's happened here. It'll be the cardstock. It's like drinking that ink and it's just going all fuzzy. So I would suggest maybe a smoother cardstock for these birds. So I learned the hard way today. So guess what? Those two are going right in the bin, let me tell you. So I've changed my cardstock to a, a smoother one and I've die cut two of those birds. Yes, Tracy, she's laughing. They did look like they've been electrocuted, I tell you. So we're stepping away from Christmas today. We're going to do a... a a fun bright breezy card but not with christmas okay so let's do the salt so for anybody who may be tuning in for the first time i do ramble <laughs> but i just wanted to show you that if you look at the back of the packaging it's explanatory how the layering system works now you can spray them with water to give you that sort of um, watercolor look if you want to or you can just stamp them out and leave them as realistic and solid as you wish so i'm going to do these two birds at the bottom so we have sort of a blue tip and a robin but i'm going to swap out the colors and i'm just going to go completely random so it's these two on the base but i am only going to do one at a time because you can guarantee that wing will be on that wing and that'll be on that and you know it just starts to get a little bit um funny doesn't it So I'm going to follow my guide because I still need my guide, even though um, they are my stamps, I still need to follow my guide. Okay, so shall we do, let's do this one first, which is the second one down. So let's find him. So that's this one here. So they're all in a cluster together. So all of the sort of blue tit ones are here, the robin's here, and then the cardinal is sort of here, okay? So Carol, I'm using sort of... Um, a 250 GSM card stock, sweetheart, and it's sort of, it's not super smooth, but it's not um, like furry, chalk content. -y. Now, there's, there's nothing against this card. This is a card that I actually use for my card blanks. It's Anna Marie's card. It's beautiful card stock, but it's no good for stamping. It's full of chalk. But um, these are the ones that um, you all love for your card blanks and matting the layering because it's a super good quality, but it's not great for stamping, okay? So that shows it's got a lot of cotton content in there. So it's just going to drink your ink, okay? So just bear that in mind. So let's pop this lovely bird on here. Now, as you can see, I've die cut him already just to make my life a little bit easier. I'll just pull my Eureka down a little bit so I can see what's going on. Sorry for the headshot as well. So I'll just make sure I've got a line in there. So I'm going to follow the guide here and I'm going to go like it is on there. So I'm going to go grey. So I'm just going to grab some inks. I've got my um, dye base, my eyes ink from the show. So let's get these out. Have I got a grey? I think I've got, let's just, oh, I've got a grey here. So let's go grey on this one. So this is going to be sort of a lightish grey here. So let's stamp. Oh, it's fallen off. No, oh, that's because it's stuck to my thing. Excuse me, everyone. I left my carrier sheet on my door. So let's do that again. So let's pop that bird on there like so. Line him up. Like so. So. Get some ink on there. So we've sort of like got our solid part of our grey bird on there. So let's take him off there. So then the next one on my sheet is the next layer here, which is this one. And he's just slightly darker. Now on this carrier sheet here, he's actually got an orange tummy. But I think if we swap it out for a blue, we're going to get a great blue tip. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to pop the next layer on here. This is sort of a darker grey. You see there, so we've got our shadow there of our lovely bird. So I'll just swap this one out here. And then I can see from my carrier sheet here, the little orange belly here, I'm going to swap out for a little shade of blue. 
and we'll get a blue stitch, shall we? I'm just going to pop him on there like so. So I'm just following my guide. I can see on here where the, the coloured part needs to be. So pop him up a little bit there. There we go. And I think we'll go on a blue colour, shall we? So I haven't got a let's have a look here what we've got on our desk. So I'll just find a blue. And this is a great thing, if you chop out the colours of their tummies, you are going to end up with some really cool birds. Because there's some um, you know those pied wagtaily ones where tails go like that, they're black and white, you could get away with that. So I'm just going to go blue here. So we've got a nice blue bit on his chest there. You could actually maybe do a bit of blue and yellow. Could we, shall we try and pop a bit of yellow in his chest as well? Because I think blue tits have a bit of yellow, don't they? I think they do. They look like they do anyway. Okay, shall we pop a bit of yellow? Question. Oh, Kylie. So, um, they will be back in stock. I think they're back in stock on Monday. Um, sorry, they're out of stock now. They were just super popular. So I'm just trying to find a yellow here, if I've got one. Have I got a yellow? I have. So I'm just going to maybe leave that stamp in the same place and add a bit of yellow. See what happens. Probably going to get Tony Green, but there we go. And this is why we pop You see how it's stuck to my stamp there? Because I've got this in place and the recess is there, it doesn't matter. I can just peel it off. Look, there we go. I'm popping back in. You see that there? So I'm absolutely good to go. This is a great thing about popping it back in your die cut. There we go. So let's have a look what's next on the list. So we have this one, which is, da, 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 is it this one? Yep. And then this one is going. So this one basically puts his feet in there and his eye. Pull that down a little bit. Sorry for the headshot. Put his little feet in there. There we go. And then this one is an even darker grey. So let's go darker if we can. And hopefully you'll be able to see. I would see that there. How cool is that? Coming together, isn't he? Like so. Could have done with being moved down a little bit, Tony, but I'm okay with it. And then the last part is his eye and his feet, which is this one. I'm going with a tropical bird, guys, because that's now gone green on his tummy, which is okay, okay, not the end of the world. We can't really say it's a parrot, though, can we? <laughs> so let's just pop this on here. So well, let's pop his eye and his feet in black. that there he's quite dark in but i'm okay with it so let's do this one next so this is the one with the robin which is facing this way can we see him here so this one's got like some brown tones in there so let's go brown on this one so this one here let's just pop him inside there and just make sure i'm not missing any questions nope not everybody's good good, good for me There we have our sort of brownie tone. Let's go with this one. Is this one orange or mm, a bit too orange? That one needs to go brown. That's better. So a nice brownie colour. And then the next one. We could go thrush like on this one, could we? Mind you, the thrushes have got that turned up tail, haven't they? Let's see if we've got a darker brown. If not, I will go same brown, make it darker, stamp it a few times. So we've got sort of that lovely arch across there. So that's a better brown. Let's just have a look. Oh, that's okay. We've got a bit of definition there. I'm okay with that. 
So his chest here we could do what should we do this time? Shall we add a dark chest? Let's put, let's see what colour this one is. Oh let's just do a dark chest. Oh, we've done that one, I'm gonna take that one off. And the next one. That's that one. Now we need his chest. Is this one? So we're going dark with this one. He's not going to be a robin. I'm not sure what it could be. Probably look like a pigeon by the time I've finished. <laughs> so that's that part. And then let's start adding our wings. So this is this part here. That, that part. Oh, great. So Ronald's asking the policy in Scan and Cut. It's absolutely fine. Um, it's absolutely fine to resize them, but please don't um, make them look weird. As long as you resize them and cut them accordingly, that's absolutely fine. If you don't want a fussy cut and things like that, that's absolutely fine. But don't sort of change the design in any way or anything like that, because the license won't cover you, and then you might get me in bother. So don't want them knocking on my door. <laughs> And then let's pop his little eye in there and his feet. So I don't know what type of bird this is going to be, but it's sort of a mix of browns and tans. Now he comes to life with his eye and his feet. There we go. So don't be scared to mix them out. I mean, you could do some really quirky, colourful ones, couldn't you, as well, if you wanted to, if you're into sort of doodle it. Mind you, I don't think you get away with them being doodle because they are realistic birds, aren't they? But, you know, have a play. Have a play. So let's just pop these two out of here. So you can see now we've got our lovely two birds. There we go. Which are quite cute. So let's create our card here. So I'm going to, I'm doing a little card today, guys, a little card, because the birds are quite petite. I'll just clean my hands. I've just grabbed some cardstock here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create myself a pretty background. Okay, here. At least they don't look like they've been electrocuted. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so I'm going to have, let's pick a nice, Nice green and a nice blue, like so. Let's create a background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a nice blend of background, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little bit of a halo, and you'll see why in a second. So you saw me create the halo on the baubles, didn't you, when we did those baubles on TV? I'm just going to sort of do the same here. So I'm just going to take this one, and we will go, let's go up here. Get some lovely colour on there. So I'll go halfway. I am just doing it lightly. I don't want it like really heavy. Just take your time. Just take it halfway up. So oh. I'm going to use the same brush, so I'm just making sure I get plenty of um, coverage on there so I can then move on to the next colour and not worry about having to come back. I've gone sort of that corner to there, and then I'm just going to turn my cardstock around, and I'm just going to swap out into this blue. And I'm just going to sort of bring the blue to connect to that green there. So I'm being asked what do I clean my Eureka with. I'll show you in a second. In fact, it's very clean. It's not down to me. I think Simon used it on Monday, bless him. 
Oh, he's cleaned it up for me. Because <laughs> I'm such a scruffy pup. So we can see we've got that lovely, lovely sort of halo on this side. I'll just turn it around a little bit for you. You see how we've got sort of the, the uh, blue down into that greeny yellow. It's like a lime green. I am going to add some more of that. This one. Get it a little bit darker if I can. A lovely colour. Like I say. There we go. So let's just get some texture on here, a little bit of texture. Add a little bit of splats on here. So I'm just putting some water in my hands here. And just give it a splat. We'll just let that do its magic. Just creates a little bit of texture in the back and it's not mucky, it's just water. So I'm, I'm okay with it. <sighs> I'm just going to give that a second. Hide in my station while we're on it. So if... If you do your birds and you cut them out and you, all of the dyes, unfortunately, have to have a one mil border around them, okay? It's just because people have sort of patent things which doesn't allow us to cut them direct, particularly a stamp, which is fine. But if you're not a fan of the white border, just sort of cut round, take a little bit of white off that you don't like. The borders are very, very slim. But I know a lot of people are a bit of funny onions with the white borders but there is unfortunately with stamps no getting around it so look here so now we have our lovely sort of distressed texture you can see it there it's lifted so the the allodyne eyes ink inks are brilliant for lifting techniques bleaching techniques Yeah, so people are saying they use hand sanitizer, that is a good one as well. So I'll just show you what I use, which is it's not anything clever, it's just what the clean our counters with, I'll show you. And as you dry the ink, can we see that there? It looks super. There we go. So you can see those splats have come to life, really. So I'll just quickly show you. So, ta-da, not promoting or anything. That's all I clean mine with, and it works, okay? Now you've seen my posh hoover as well, what I hoover up all my die cuts with as well. <laughs> so, let's get this card made. Now, I want to create the sort of illusion of these birds having a good old chat on a sort of a wire. Okay, so, how are we going to do it? I think you're going to have to go like that. So, I've just got a pen here. I tell you what, let's get it mat and laid onto our card because if any hiccups happen, at least it's on, on my card. So let's just stick this onto this piece of black cardstock here. Hey, it's Father's Day as well, isn't it? So great for Father's Day. We'll just stick this on. There. As soon as you pop it onto that black, it sort of makes that colour just pop even more, which is lovely. So if any of you are wanting to check out Christmas, um, Helen is on Create and Craft on Friday with Christmas. So if you want some inspiration, Helen's um, helping me out with shows now. So if you are wanting some inspiration with the products that you've bought, Helen's got a great twist on how she crafts, which is different to me. So you might want to record the show and see what she's got going on. She's got one, I think it's nine... 39.45 and then later on in the day. So check out the schedule on Friday. Get that inspiration. Get it all recorded. Get it all saved. As soon as you get your products and you'll be able to think, oh, I love that card that lady made. And then you can go and make them, can't you? So there we have sort of that design. Right, I'm just going to go here and sort of create a wire with a pen. Now, if you've got a stamp that creates like a wire, then you can absolutely go for it. I'm just going to So I'm just going to go from here. I'm just going to go down. As if they're having a chat. I'm just going to make it a little bit thicker. If 
could put a die cut straight across the page if you're not confident with a pen. So I'm just colouring this in, making it a little bit thicker. And because they are all in keeping with size as well, one's not going to look silly next to the other either. So you're, you're good to go, really. We have that sort of like sweeping design, then I'm just going to do one from here. Taking that line a little bit, take your time, only take your time. You can see now I've created sort of that wire in there. I'm just looking to see if I can just grab my ink just one second. So I have my gosh, so much, I can't find it now. So many inks and ink pads, you wouldn't believe that I don't have any on my trolley. What a surprise. So I'm just going to use my white gel pen here and I'm just going to add some white splats as if I've done it with my brush. Some really thick ones, some big blobs, as I would literally um, go to town on this, as you all know. Let's pretend I did it with a brush, eh? <laughs> and then I'm going to take my lovely birds and let's see how we can position. Oh, look at that. That looks okay, doesn't it? Hey, not bad at all. Not bad at all. I am going to do them flat. And I will stamp a sentiment on here too. Before I take a picture. You'll be able to see what it looks like with it. Yeah. So, yes, Helen is on Create and Craft on Friday with, some, with my Christmas show. And she's... Um, Going to be using all the products that are left but the inspiration is still going to be there i'll let's pop him up there i like his little tail hung off the edge Ooh. i will pop a nice sentiment on here too find one appropriate and then i'm just going to take my sparkle pen and let's just add a bit of sparkle to our birds. Now, be mindful that I have used a water reactive ink. So, you know, don't try not to smudge the colour too much. So, it's a bit of a sparkle pen. Make them a little bit sparkly. There we go. And I'll add a lovely sentiment here. So, that'll be perfect for the photograph. You could add more wires if you wanted to, if you were a bit more courageous than me. But, you know, it is what it is. So that's card number one. I hope you like that one. Something different. So not a Christmas card, even though the products are marked up as Christmas. It's not a Christmas card. So that's that one. And then I'm going to do another card now. And I've already done most of the work. So we're going to use the 3D dies that we launched oh, last Friday, okay? So I'm also going to be using this one, which is the Lily Portrait. Can you remember the big A5 background stamp that I give you this distressed look? Now, this card has been copied <laughs> from a card that, one of, uh, that Karen's done on my design team. And I'll show you her card, and it's just a different colour wave, so you'll be able to see what colour wave Karen did it in and a colour wave that I've done it in. And then we'll um, show you the card. So those 3D dies that we launched on Friday, the ones where they stack behind really unique in design, which is these ones. And you push the other um, birds' wings through and things like that. These are, there is a few of these available. I'm going to use them as entities on their own, okay? So you don't have to use that plate. I just want you to see how versatile they are. So let's just pop this one out of the way. Let's just grab my Eureka. And let's just grab some white cardstock here. So what colour is the next question? So this is a big old stamp. And this is, it's 
it gives you the look of a distressed image straight away you don't have to spray it if you don't want it i do like to spray it but today i'm not gonna i'm just gonna go as a flat image in a in a nice color so let's have a look what colors we've got going on shall we go purple purple for a change i don't really touch purple very often let's go purple what's the worst that could happen yeah carly's done her facebook live today hasn't she the dove with the pine cones my gosh that sounds amazing stephanie make sure you post a picture so i'm just going to go with the purple on here now very quickly let's see what it looks like with the dye basting because i would like it quite bright let's try again make it a bit darker So, mm, it's all right, isn't it? But it's a dye based ink. So, I have, funnily enough, got my um, pigment ink pads on my desk as well. So, I'm going to go pigment. And pigment, if I've got a purple, I have. Let's go that purple. So, pigment is opaque. Okay, so you're going to get a more, is it similar? Oh, well, let's go for it. So you're not going to be able to see through it as much as you can see already on my stamp. How different it is it's a bit like oxide it blends like it's got glycerin base so you can blend it it's super smooth and it's less opaque okay so you can't see through it as much as your dye base i'm going to get a really solid image after i probably stamp this twice and you'll see what i mean in a minute hopefully it'll work on top of that dye ink. i don't know we'll see we will see can we see that now well, let's just do it one more time you can see on the stamp it sits differently it cleans exactly the same it's still water-based it's just got that glycerin base in there which is going to allow you to have it wet for longer so you can emboss if you want to or um, blend with it See that there so you get the results that you can't quite achieve with your dye based however they stay wet for longer so you do need to dry them but you get a more vivid color so your dye based are like quite transparent you can see through them whereas with these ones they're opaque so they give you more of a solid finish So they stay wet for longer as well, which allows you to do heat embossing and things like that. So let's just take this off here for now. Pop it back in my carrier sheet. Oh, was she on telly today with Wallace and Gromit? I'm not sure. Didn't catch that one. Oh, I bet she didn't appreciate me calling her then today. She never said. So let's get this on our card, just clean my hands so no mucky paw prints. So I've got a grey card here. So this one is called Lily Portrait. Oh, going on to some gold first. Lily Portrait, this one's called. I think it's still available. Type in Lily. In the search box, it'll be there somewhere. I'm going to turn that over and push it down. It's really pretty, isn't it? And then we'll get this one onto our car. Oh, 
Oh, after Facebook Live, okay. So there we have our lovely design. How cool is that? You just need a sentiment on there. So from that same set, I've cut in perfect harmony and I've done it on this sort of gold to match my back side of um, my card. I'm just going to pop some spots of blue in and around. And then right so and then we have the lovely sort of birds here so i've cut some in some bald to match the back and in some white so let's just see so you you know you get all of those lovely sizes now if you missed the launch last friday we always have a launch on a friday go back and check out the show because it is it was a lovely show yeah so all i'm going to do is i'm going to i've done the same size I'm just going to create that drop shadow. I'm just going to pop some on his belly here, like so. I'm just going to take that white one. I'm just going to pull it down slightly. And then I get that lovely sort of, I hope you can see that metallic drop shadow coming through his wings and the base of his tail. Use all the mucky fingerprints on that. Oh, frustrating. And now make it worse. I'll have to get my eraser on that one. And then the same with this one. Oh, just pop it on his belly. And then I just slightly bring it down. So I get a lovely drop shadow. Give it time to grab. And then you can mess around with those wings as you please. Get that lovely dimension on there. A second and then let's add in fact we'll do that in a second so i'll just pull those wings up so let's stick these onto our card here in fact let's do our sentiment first so i am literally following karen's card basically here but just in a different colorway so i'm just going to pop this down here And then this one, pop them. I'm just going to pop his tail over the top of that hay. So. And then this one, he will be coming down from. Yeah, so the pedal on the bicycle, that's just how the designer did it, unfortunately. I know a lot of people said, oh, he's missing a bicycle, has he got one leg and things like that. It is quite funny, actually. However, we did check with the designer and he just designed it with one pedal. So it is what it is. But if, like you say, Rolf, if you want to draw it in, you can. If you want to, or if you want to take the other pedal off, mask it off, then you can do that. Yeah. So let's just take our sparkle pen. Let's add some sparkle to the bodies of these lovely birds. Not too much. Add some to the flowers as well. And I think we'll leave it at that. It does look like it's all blended into one on screen, but really it isn't. There we go. You can see the drop shadow on those birds there. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's show you that. Um, Let's show you that on camera. So we have this one. This is Karen's card, which I sort of copied. And I'm not afraid to say it. It's fabulous. 
inspired me. So this is Karen's with the pink and the silver. You see that there? I'll let you get a picture. There we go. So you can see the pink and silver one and then the sort of rose gold and purple one. So I couldn't decide which I like the best. I like them both really. And then we have the fabulous, so I'll just stick this one in front, the lovely bird, where I'm going to pop a lovely sentiment on there. Oh, it's also, you can see the sparkle there, so it looks like they're on there. And I'll pop a lovely sentiment on there too. So I hope that's okay, everyone. Have you had a lovely hour? Hopefully you have. Fingers crossed. So I'm, Claire's with you tomorrow, and then on Friday, we have a launch, one o'clock. Launch day, I'm calling it. So we call it launch day. If anybody can think of a creative name, for our launches on Friday, you'll have to let me know because launch day is pretty boring. So um, I'll take a picture of these. We'll post it on social media. Don't forget you can go back and watch the show if you have actually missed it. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and I'll see you all on Friday at one o'clock. And guess what? I have a presenter. See you all then. Bye.